Hey everybody, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this butterfly ripple shawl. So for the idea behind this shawl is I really wanted to make a butterfly shawl that was uh, a ripple. But every time I tried it would change the shape. And I knew it would change somewhat of the shape but I didn't think it would change so much and I could never really do it do it successfully so I thought well maybe I could use the stitch it stitch itself to make it look more ripple and so that's what I came up with I decided I would use the this part that was part of the riptide and let it flow into the lace stitch that I have going here so that I have a point up like this and a point that goes down so that was the best uh, kind of ripple that I could get but it, I think it really came out looking beautiful and the skein also came out looking awesome. So because this shawl is basically the same start that I went ahead and I'm just going to put the Riptide shawl rows 1 through 5 tutorial up there and then I'll continue when the pattern changes to show you how to start turning it into the, the Butterfly Ripple shawl. So it's going to change from a blue color to this green color when it comes to this one here. Okay, to begin the shawl, you want to start by chaining three. One, two, three. Now on the very first chain, you want to put eight double crochets in that very first chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that chain two at the beginning will count as your first stitch. So you should have a total of nine stitches. For row two, you want to chain two and turn. This chain two we did will also count as the very first double crochet of our row. So in the very first stitch, we want to put one double crochet. Now in the rest of your stitches, you want to put two double crochets. We're going to be doubling our stitches. Don't forget to put two in that chain two at the end of your row. At the end of this row, you should have 18 stitches. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end of this row. Be sure to count your stitches. Okay, for row three, you want to chain one and turn. Now we want to put a front post double crochet worked on the very first post of the row. So we'll work a front post double crochet there. Then you're going to skip the very next stitch and then the one after that, you're going to put two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all worked in the same stitch. And like I always say for my shawl videos, this is the most important row to make sure that you take your time and you skip the correct stitches. Okay, so I put my two, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets in this one. You want to skip, make sure that you're on, that you know which one you're in here skip the next one and the, the following one you'll put another front post double crochet and you're going to repeat this for the row skip the next one and then in the following one you'll put two double crochets chain one two double crochets be making our peaks here and again find stitch in the post that's coming out of. Make sure you're skipping the correct one and then the following one you'll put a front post double crochet on. And then you'll continue that down your row. Skip the next one and then the following one you'll put your two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then you'll skip one and then front post double crochet. And you'll continue that for your row. Catch your last peak. You'll skip the very next stitch 
and then you'll have one double crochet and a chain here. We're going to ignore this chain. We're just going to be working with the post of the next double crochet. And you're going to put your final front post double crochet on that one. Now you want to chain one and turn. Now we're going to be working a back post and it's, <laughs> I cannot do a back post on the first one. So it's just going to be a front post, but the rest will be back post. So put a, a post stitch on this first post stitch. And now we're on our first peak. You can see the two double crochets on either side and then that chain one in the middle. We're going to be working not in the stitches, but in, the, in between these first two double crochets. And we're going to put two double crochets in that space in between those two double crochets. Just two double crochets, no chaining. Now we're in our chain one space, which is our peak, and we'll work that the same way as we did last time. We'll put two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Then we're going to do the same thing that we just did between our other two double crochets, and we're going to put in the space between these two double crochets, you'll put two double crochets in there. Then that will bring us up to our front post double crochet that we have here. And we're going to be working a back post on there. So you want to yarn over going from here and push back and do your back post. Oh, I lost a loop somewhere. And then you'll repeat this for the round. I'm sorry, for the row. So you're going to find your next peak and again you're going to work that the same. You're going to put two double crochets in between these first two double crochets. Then the chain one space in our peak here we're going to work that same way by putting two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then again between the next two double crochets, we're going to put two double crochets. Then when we get done with that peak, we're going to, it's going to bring us back up to our next post stitch. So we're going to yarn over and do our back post double crochet there. And then it's just going to repeat, putting two double crochets in between the two double crochets and then the peaks the same and you'll continue that for the row. Okay, at the very end of my row, I can, you can see the chain two sticking up on the side because the post is kind of hiding behind here. So yarn over and go in between the chain two and the post and you'll be able to do your back post double crochet on that last one. And that will end row four. For row five, we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to do a front post double crochet on the post of the very first post, uh, the back double crochet, back post double crochet we did last time. And then we're going to be working in these, this, in between these two double crochets. And we're going to put, where is it? Okay, so between these two double crochets and the two double crochets of our, our peak, there's a space here. And in that space, we're going to put a full peak stitch. So we'll put two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets all work in that first space in between. Oh, ran out of yarn. Okay, sorry about that. So now in the peak stitch, we'll put a peak stitch. Just like we just did, two double crochets chain one and then two double crochets all worked in that same stitch and then now that brings us up to our two double crochets of our peak and the two double crochets we did last time so you're going to skip two double crochets and in the space between you're going to put another peak stitch so two double crochets chain one and two double crochets. 
that'll bring us up to our front post here. So we're going to work our front post double crochet to end that repeat. And you can see we did three full peak stitches in this first section. So we're going to do that again. Again, you're going to skip the first two double crochets and working in that space, you're going to put two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then in our peak stitch, in our chain one space here, you're going to make your peak by doing your two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Then again, you'll skip two double crochets, and in that space in between, you'll do another peak stitch. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then that will bring you back up to your front post double crochet. So you want to do that two more times, and I'll see you at the end of row five. Okay, I'm just ending with my last peak stitch here and then again you want to do a front post so I'm just gonna since it's kind of connected the chain and the front post I'm just gonna go under both the chain two and the front post and do my last front post double crochet on that row and that ends row five okay like I said from the beginning I'm going to now be switching to my green and this is going to be the the new film tutorial that I'm making for the ripple shawl so to begin row six, you'll chain two and turn. This chain two will count as the very first stitch of row six. And you wanna use the same stitch and put three more double crochets. So you'll be putting all these three double crochets in the same stitch, the very first stitch of the row. And since the chain two counts as a stitch, you have a total of four stitches here, the chain two and three double crochets. After that, uh, you'll want to do a double crochet in the next chain one space. Oh, the uh, each one of these that we made last time, these three cluster stitches here. We're going to be working in the chain one spaces of those cluster stitches. So you'll put a double crochet in the next chain one space. This is going to be our first anchor stitch. Then you're going to chain five then you'll find your next area here and you're going to actually use the space that this cluster is worked on. So this chain one space that you worked the cluster uh, stitch in last time, you're going to be using, you're going to pick that up. So you can go in through one cluster stitch and come out through the other and you're going to slip stitch your chain five onto that. And then you'll chain five again. Find your next cluster stitch here, the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and you'll be putting your next anchor stitch right there. The anchor stitches are very important to remember from here on out, and so I'll refer to those these stitches here as the anchor stitch, and they're separate from the, the rest of the stitch that we're going here. I'm going to continue. Okay, so this next little you can see from this side, see this is the back post. You need to find that stitch and in that stitch, not on the post but in the stitch itself, you want to put four double crochets all worked in that same stitch. Three, and four. And then that is the end of the repeat. So you'll be starting Again, because we did four double crochets here, and then the very next stitch will be our first anchor stitch. So this will be our, our, our third anchor stitch of the row. Again, you'll find your three clusters. This one will be an anchor stitch. This is where we'll slip stitch our chain, and then our other anchor stitch will go here. So we're going to do that again. So let's start by creating our anchor stitch in this first cluster. Just double crochet. And then you'll chain five, three, four, and five find that middle cluster and again you're going to be using the stitch that you worked the cluster on so you're going to go down in the, the stitch below and then come up to pick up that stitch to slip stitch onto 
then you'll chain five again on this side then you'll put your next anchor stitch worked in the next cluster the chain one of the next cluster then again you'll find that back post running along here and find that stitch and on the top of that stitch you'll put four double crochets and then again it brings you to your next anchor stitch and then chain five then slip stitch onto that cluster and then chain five then anchor that again and then again you'll come to your back post where you will put your four double crochets and then you will finish your last one here and then I'll show you how to end the row okay I just did my last anchor stitch here in my cluster and which brings me to the very last stitch of the row and in the very last stitch you'll want to put a total of four double crochets all worked in the same stitch and because it's a, a chain one and a, a front post it kind of becomes all sorry about that I want to shake the camera too much but it becomes all one stitch you can see here this is the chain one and then this is the cluster I just go into the the stitch the uh, chain one just kind of make it all one stitch here on the end and that's how you end row six okay for row seven you want to chain two and turn this chain two will count as the first stitch so you want to find these this is the first stitch of the row and that chain two will count as the first stitch so you're going to move into the second stitch of the row and you're going to put a double crochet and that's all it takes before we get into the center of our our four double crochets that we did last row there's no chain one just pull that apart and have two double crochets on this side and two double crochets on this side and in that space in between is where we're going to start creating our peak stitch and that's how we'll be increasing this shawl so it's very important and you'll put two double crochets in there and that's also where you'll be marking your peak stitches later is in between those two double crochets that are in that one space so now we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet in our next two stitches which brings us up to our very first anchor stitch and now you can see that the chain five is coming right from this anchor stitch so you know for a fact that that's your anchor stitch and always use that chain five to help guide you to make sure that this is the correct anchor stitch if not it's going to mess up your whole count so go ahead and create your new anchor stitch by double crocheting in the top okay after you make your anchor stitch you're going to be skipping make sure that you're looking here and you can see you have a obviously you have a stitch coming out of uh, this stitch so that's worked so you want to use the very next stitch and you'll put a double crochet chain one then you'll skip one stitch and in the next stitch you'll put a double crochet chain one and you should be on you're on your cluster here this should be the very next stitch after this double crochet chain one should be the chain one which your chain one's going to cover that see double crochet chain one double crochet chain one so you'll skip this chain one space you'll put a double crochet in the next one double crochet and chain one in the next one then again you'll skip one stitch and then the next one you'll put your last double crochet chain one so you should have four double crochet chain ones and you should have a double crochet on either side of your center chain one that's how you know you're lined up right and then you'll find your next anchor stitch and again you know what your anchor stitch because you can follow your chain five on this side right up to it so put your double crochet there to create your anchor stitch on this row and then again you can see this is your 
uh, double uh, your four double crochets and again we're going to be working in between those to make our peak stitch but before we do that we need to work in our double crochets up to there so you have two double crochets on this side of your peak and two double crochets on that side of your peak so you're going to start by putting one double crochet in these first two double crochets so one double crochet in this one and one double crochet in this one now the space in between we'll put two double crochets to cre create our peak stitch and then on this side we'll do the same put one double crochet in the next two so you can see that not counting the anchor stitch you'll have two and two and then the center two is your peak and those are the ones that will increase your peak you always have two in the middle but the number of double crochets it takes to get to that middle place will grow every round every row okay so now you've reached your anchor stitch on this side so you're going to put a double crochet in your anchor stitch and chain one you're going to grab up your flat make sure you don't work over your chains here and you're going to skip this very first stitch and you're going to double crochet and chain one in the next skip the next stitch and then double crochet and chain one in the next and that will bring us to sorry my yarn and this will bring us to uh, this is our cluster here in our chain one so the very next double crochet on the other side of our cluster we want to make sure we have a double crochet chain one in that one skip the next stitch double crochet and chain one on the last one that'll give us our four double crochet chain ones which brings us back up to our anchor stitch and you will want to put your double crochet in your anchor stitch now that brings us up to our peak section again where you will put one double crochet in these first two then in between you'll put two double crochets and then you'll put a double crochet worked in these the next two so let's do that one double crochet two double crochets the space in between you'll put two double crochets and then work one double crochet onto the next two double crochets and then that'll bring you back up to your peak stitch I'm sorry your anchor stitch again so create it and chain one and then again skip the first here it's uh here it's it's down there here you skip the first put it in the second there we go chain one skip the next double crochet chain one in the next then skip this chain one stitch and put your double crochet chain one on the other side of this chain one space then skip one stitch and the very next stitch put your next double crochet chain one which will bring you back up to your anchor stitch so go ahead and double crochet in your anchor stitch now you're back up to your double crochet four so you'll put your one double crochet in those first two then create your peak stitch by putting two double crochets in the center space and then the next two you'll put one double crochet in then again the next stitch is your anchor stitch so you'll chain one after that anchor stitch and then again I like to just find my cluster here this is definite one you need to put in so skip this one and put it there so you'll be again skipping one stitch putting a double crochet chain one skip the next stitch and on this side of my cluster I'll put double crochet chain one skip my chain one and then on this side of the cluster I'll put my double crochet chain one skip a stitch and then put your double crochet chain one on here you'll be skipping this last one and going right in to make your anchor and then again you'll put one double crochet in the next two then in between you'll be putting your two double crochets to create your peak stitch then your last two stitches will be the one double crochet and then a double crochet in your 
top of your chain two. And this is how you do row seven. Okay, so now we're going to do the two repeat rows, which are going to be row eight and row nine. So for row eight, you want to chain two and turn. That chain two will count as your first double crochet. So working uh, in the second double crochet and the third of the row. And then you'll see here by your chain here that this is your anchor stitch. So that does not, that is not included. And you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is why you did your chain two and you worked a double crochet in only those first two because that brings you up to the center stitch here where you'll put your peak stitch. So put two double crochets in that. And then you have one, two, three double crochets before you reach your anchor stitch, which you can see by the, by the chain that that's this one. So you're going to yarn over and only double crochet in these next three. And if you remember the previous row you did, you had two before you had to do your peak. Now this row you'll have three double crochets before you do your, your increase, which is your peak. But always make sure that you, uh, you don't include one of those numbers as your, your anchor stitch. So follow the chains is all I can tell you. Follow those chains. The chain's going to tell you and it's going to help you. So now it brings us to our anchor stitch, which we will put in now. And then you'll chain five, three, four, and five. And now you'll be using, we made these four double crochets last time, so you're going to find the center space. And again, we're going to do just like we did in the previous row. We're going to go in through here and come up through that stitch and slip stitch on that one. And then you'll chain five, three, four, five. Then you'll find, again, you can follow the chain from the previous row right up to the double crochet. So you know that is your anchor stitch and that is where you'll put your double crochet to anchor your chain on this side. Now we're working on our peak area again. So we already did our anchor stitch so we don't have to worry about this next one being an anchor stitch. You know you have three double crochets before you reach your peak area. So do those. Do three double crochets and now using the space in between you'll make your new peak stitch by putting two double crochets and then again you know you need three double crochets down the side This next one is your anchor stitch, so go ahead and put it and chain five. Two, three, four, five. Now we're going to find those four again, and you're going to go in through the previous hole and out through. Always seem to cover that up. So you're going to go in through the bottom and come up. You're going to be doing a slip stitch on that section. Once you got your slip stitch, chain five. Then you can follow your chain up to your next anchor stitch where you'll put a double crochet. Now we're going to work on our peak section again. So we know we have the three double crochets that it takes before you get to the top of our peak here. In between, you'll put your two double crochets. And then now along the side of this peak, you should have three double crochets. The next one is your anchor stitch. So go ahead and put that anchor stitch in there and chain five. Again, find that those four, find the center one. Go in from the bottom and out through that one to slip stitch chain five and then anchor it here follow the chain up 
find your place to put your anchor stitch here. And then again, you're going to be putting one double crochet in the next three. And again, that's going to increase every row by one. So next time you come around here, it'll be four before you get to the middle. And right after this stitch, in the space in between, you'll be putting your two peak stitches. And then now the very next stitch, you're not skipping any stitches here. You're going to be putting your three double crochets. Then that'll bring you up to your anchor stitch that you'll put in there in uh, chain five. Then again, you're going to slip stitch here in the middle, chain five. Follow your chain up to find your anchor stitch on this side. And then again, you'll have your three double crochets, one, two, and three. Then find that space in between and you'll put your two peak stitches there and then just double crochet now until you get to the end which on this side is two double crochets and then you don't forget your chain two on the end and that is how you will end row eight which is the first row of the repeats okay for row nine you'll chain one and turn then we'll be doing front post double crochets here. So working in the first four posts of the row, we'll be picking up that post and putting a uh, front post double crochet. Picking up the post and doing a double crochet. You'll do that for the first four. Remember we did an increase the last row, so that means this row will have four before our peak. So we've done our four stitches, which brings us up to that middle stitch here, which we will put two double crochets to create our peak. And this is the row you want to start marking your stitches, your, uh, your peak stitches, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few of my yarn markers here. But I like to finish uh, the whole peak first before I mark it. Makes it easier. So we did four on this side and we need to do four on this side. We have five, but remember one of those is your anchor. So you have four on this side. So yarn over and start doing your front post double crochets on this side of your peak. That's two, that's three, and that's four. Okay, now I like to go back and in that middle, which is the, there's your peak stitch right there that you did. These are your front posts here. You can go in again from the previous row and come up through this row. Then I grab a marker. It's just a regular piece of string that I fold in half to create a loop here at the bottom. That I'll put my hook on and pull it through the stitch. Keep that loop up and I'll pull the rest of my tail through my loop now that I've created. Just tug on it slightly and it'll hold that in place. And you'll want to do that for each of your five um, peak areas this row. Okay, so now it brings us back up to our anchor stitch, which we're going to put a double crochet. You'll always only put a double crochet and then uh, either you'll be chaining five or chain one, but your anchor stitch will always be a double crochet. So now we're going to be working again on our four double crochet chain ones and super easy. Oh, you need a chain one. Find that first of the four double crochets and you will double crochet and chain one. Then again, find your next double crochet and double crochet chain one. Then find your next double crochet and you will double crochet, chain one. Then the final and fourth one, double crochet, chain one. And that'll bring you back up to your anchor stitch on this side that you will put a double crochet in. And now we're working up to our peak again. We remember, remember that there were four front post double crochets, so make sure you don't grab your anchor stitch here. Go into your next post 
and do a front post double crochet on your next four posts. Then do your peak stitch by putting two double crochets in that same space in between. And then on this side, you'll pick up the very next post a front post double crochet on these next four posts as well, just like on the other side. And then I go in there, find my peak stitch, put my hook through it, grab my next marker that I want to use. So I'll use this gray one. And I'm going to mark that stitch as well. Okay, next stitch is our anchor stitch. So go ahead and put a double crochet there and chain one. And now you're going to be grabbing a hold of your four double crochets. So you'll be putting double crochet chain one in each of your four double crochets. which will bring you back up to your anchor stitch. So go ahead and anchor that down by putting your double crochet in there. Now again, you'll be working your four front post double crochets on this side of your peak. Then put two double crochets worked in the center space and then four double crochets uh, four front post double crochets, sorry, worked on the post of the next four double crochets. Then again, find that center and you want to put your next marker there. And then again, your very next stitch is your anchor stitch, so go ahead and put that and chain one and now you're going to continue by putting your next uh, four double crochet chain ones and then you'll do your anchor stitch and continue. Don't forget to mark your next two peaks. Continue along this way and I will see you at the end. Okay, I went ahead and marked my last one here and I'm just finishing my last four double crochet, front post double crochets and on the end chain two here it's also going to be a front post double crochet. So you have your four and that will be the end of row nine. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the repeat, but I'm going to do it on the actual shawl itself so you can get an idea of how it grows and when, what you need to look out for. Okay, so at the end of your row, the one where you don't have the front post, you'll chain one and turn and then on the very first post, pick that up and you'll work a front post and you're going to continue to work a front post double crochet down all of your double crochets and you want to continue to do that front post double crochet until you reach the center of your two double crochets here that is in the middle here that we're marking so continue to front post on all of those stitches until you reach the two double crochets there. Okay, now I've reached my two double crochets that are in my previous two double crochets. See where I marked? And the double crochet and you want to make sure you got the right one then you'll pick up the post of the first do a front post on it and then now in that space you'll work your two double crochets in the same space and then in the other double crochet you'll put front post and then you'll continue your front post Continue your front post double crochet until you get to your anchor stitch, which is the last double crochet here. Ok, 
Okay, I'm coming up to my anchor stitch, the one that's connected to my chain here. And you want to put a double crochet in the double crochet to create your next new anchor stitch. You will never front post double crochet on a anchor stitch. And then since we're not doing the chain this time, because the chain's on the front side, we'll be doing our double crochets, chain one again. So you want to start off by chaining one, finding that first double crochet here, and put a double crochet, chain one. Then you'll find your next double crochet, and then double crochet, chain one. And again, we're going to repeat that for the next two. You'll have four double crochet chain ones in between here. This will be my fourth and final double crochet chain one. So you have your four double crochets and your anchor stitch on this side. Now you just need to finish by doing your anchor stitch on this side. You did a double crochet chain one. Then now find that first double crochet, go into the stitch and do a double crochet. That's how you complete that section. Now without chaining one now you're just you're starting to work your front post double crochets again. So continue to work your front post double crochets until you reach your peak again. The last double crochet and then I have my chain two space. And every so often I recommend going back and counting how many stitches you have not counting your peak stitch and just counting when you get to your peak here split it in half so counting from this one double crochet in your peak stitch all the way until here before your anchor don't count your anchor so just these count how many stitches you have and then count how many stitches you have here on the end because sometimes your ends can get kind of you know messed up and you add a stitch here or there so just every so often count that way you can make an adjustment if you uh you mess up or not okay so once you've counted you make sure that you have the same amount on both sides on your ends here then go ahead and chain two and turn the chain two will count as the first stitch of your row so you're going to go into the second stitch of your row and put a double crochet. Then you're going to continue and put one double crochet in each of your stitches. Wow, I sure picked a, a loud day to crochet. I mean, to film between the birds and the honking and the trucks <laughs> backing up. Goodness gracious. So go ahead and put one double crochet in each of your stitches until you reach your peak stitch. Okay, now I've reached my two peak stitches here. So I'm going to double crochet in the first peak stitch. Then I'm going to split it apart and double crochet two in the space in between. Then I'm going to double crochet in the next double crochet of my peak stitch. And now you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch. I like to do at least the next few. And then my markers several rows down so I want to move it up so I'll remove my marker because on the front side here where the texture is it can be the hardest to see where the split is so follow your splits up just to make sure you're marking the right one because that's not a mistake you want to have to go back and rectify especially not with this thin yarn so then you just mark the new one the new peak and then continue and I'll be moving my markers up just like that uh, throughout the whole row so continue to double crochet down here until you reach your anchor stitch again okay, I'm getting close to my anchor stitch okay this very last double crochet here that's connected to the chain uh, it's not connected to the chain this time but uh, below you can always find the anchor stitch because the chains basically direct you right to it. Because I know sometimes it can be difficult to find which one it is. Just follow the chain to the actual anchor stitch. Then you'll know that that's where you put your double crochet. 
Then once you've done that, we're on our front part now where our chains. So you'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. You'll find that middle space here and slip stitch on it. Then chain five. Then again, find that chain, follow it up, and I'll show you right where your anchor stitch is. Oops, I forgot to yarn over. Got to yarn over to do a double crochet. Then you'll put your anchor stitch there. And now you're back to your doing your peaks again. So start double crocheting all the way up to your peak stitch again. And again, I will be moving my marker as I go up. And you will continue this down your row and at the very end of your row. So I usually end my row by putting a double crochet in that very last stitch. That's it guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like and share and comment. It helps me out so much. Also, if you never want to miss something that comes out for me, you can go to my main YouTube page and on the side of the subscribe button, click that little bell button and choose all notifications to always be notified whenever something gets released. Also, I have two groups on Facebook. One's called Crochet Zone Public, which is more of a public. Uh, designers also share there. And also Crochet for the Masses, which is a more of a private group, if you'd prefer that. Also, I have a group on Pinterest, where a lot of designers will also post. I have anywhere from 10 to 20 new posts, uh, free patterns, spam free. So if you're always looking for free patterns, and you have a Pinterest account, I recommend going there. It'll help you uh, find all kinds of new free stuff. Also, I have an email. I'll at least try to get an email out once or twice a month to inform you what's been coming out new for me that month. So that's it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching.